Verse number 23 here, the Bible says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighteth in his way. Now, I believe this verse. You, you all believe this verse? Amen. Amen. Good. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. So you know what that tells me? Why don't you start just first of all, just right off the bat, just trying to be good. Try to follow God's laws and, and God will direct your path. God will order your steps. If you're doing what's right, if you're trying your best to, to, to follow God's word, to obey his laws, to do his commandments, to do, you know, to, to do the things that the Bible is teaching you to do, God will direct your paths. And the comfort we have in that is that then wherever we're led, if, if you know you're doing all you can do to do right, then you can just say, well, this is where God's leading me. Yeah, that's right. And amen. And, and whether, whether it be, you know, and, and I know we're talking, we're going to deal with like finances and stuff. Whether you happen to have a lot of prosperity financially or not, that's not really the point of just having a bunch of wealth. And, and so don't get me wrong, when I'm talking about managing finances and working and stuff, I'm not just talking about accumulating a bunch of treasures on this earth. I'm not talking about just the goal in life is to get a lot of money. And you'll notice that that's not what I'm referring to. However, we ought to, if we're righteous, if we're doing what God has, we ought to be self-sufficient. We ought to be, especially as men, working hard and providing for ourselves and providing for our family and doing what's right. That's right. So the amount of dollars you have in your bank account is not, is not important. And I'm not going to be teaching you to just make sure you could have as much money as possible. That, that doesn't, that's not the point of this. But the point is to be able to live righteously, and, and we're going to get to this in just a minute. Look at what he says in verse 24. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. Obviously, there's going to be times when we do fall. There's going to be times when we slip and, and, and stumble, and we need help, and we, you know, we're, we're, we're not perfect. We're going to need some help along the way. He says, but, you know, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. You really want to have God helping you out and God there to, to lift you up and God there in your times of need. Hey, be a good man. Follow the Bible. Follow Scripture. Verse number 25. I have been young and now am old. Right? This is David just, just now making an observation. Look, I've been young, now I'm old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. And this is an important truth. We see a lot of people begging for bread, begging for money, begging to have stuff. Well, you know what David said? You know what? In my whole life, I've never seen the righteous man begging bread. Amen. Now, there's times where people go through periods of need. Right? I'm not saying that you will always have everything that you need on your own. It's not what I'm saying. But if you are doing what's right and you stumble and you get into, and maybe it's not a stumble, it's just you find yourself in a situation through completely circumstances outside of your control. Being a righteous man, you know what? God is going to help you out. And if you're living right and doing right, there's going to be people there all ready to help you out and to, to help sustain you and get you through those times. If it's a financial need, it's going to come. It's going to be there. One way or another, God will work it out for you so that you do not have to resort to begging for bread. This is also a true statement. I've been young, not old. You have not seen the righteous forsaken. God won't forsake you. You're living righteously. He's not going to forsake you. And you're not going to have to be brought to begging for bread and begging for money. It's a fact. He is ever merciful and lendeth and his seed is blessed. Yes. 